I'm going to do a dissection of me versus Sonic at We Play. This was top eight. This is, what is it? At this point, we were there for like, what, six days or something like that? So you had round robin for group A, round robin for group B. And Sonic was in group A and I was in group B. And I qualified for top eight out of group B and he did out of group A going like seven and zero. So going into this match versus Sonic, we were like round one of what's it called we were round one of top eight like we always fucking are you know who knows how i don't even know i'm always having to fight this motherfucker round one i don't know why but yeah round one he just went seven to no so he's fresh off of like a hot start so i'm playing peak sonic seven to no smacking everybody in this bracket okay so he goes joker let me turn this down he goes joker and i go showstopper johnny cage and let me explain why i went showstopper johnny cage a lot of people were confused as to why i went showstopper johnny cage i went showstopper johnny cage specifically for the camera the reason why i chose camera was because i wanted the ability to be able to side switch you can't when joker puts johnny in the corner he's basically fucked like it wasn't even because the unbreakable damage because pissed off gives you unbreakable damage anyway but um camera two perks side switch and unbreakable damage and I still get to keep shades. So I wanted the ability, if I landed a hit on Sonic and I'm in the corner, to jump over him and put him in the corner. If I was playing pissed off, I would be stuck in the corner all game. The moment I get put in the corner, I'd be fucked. That's why I want Showstopper. It's the only way I could side switch. Oh, and the reason why I want Showstopper too is because when we were playing in the hotel room, this man was smacking my pissed off left like around silly. So I played some showstopper. All I needed was to get one convincing ass game. And I was like, oh yeah, this is what I'm going if I'm playing them. That simple. Didn't even want to like, got the little mini download, even though I still lost. I got the mini download on what was the best variation to play versus Joker. I don't even like showstopper more than another variation of pissed off and all that. We're going to get some corner positioning almost, but rewind, trying to take the advantage. Great tech on that throw right there. So right here in this range, I'm literally just trying to stay out of the range of all his full screen ass normals because, you know, Joker has down four, goes stupid full screen. He has stand two. He can just buffer it into the boxing gloves. And if I walk into his stand two, I'm getting full combo for 30 on breakable. And forward two, I'm trying to space forward two, down four, and stand two all at the same time. And... Sonic likes to just stick out a shit ton of down fours because Johnny's main two two main tools to get in are back three and four three. Four three is a high. If I do four three, he's just gonna down four me every time. If I do back three, it's a huge commitment. He could jump it. If I if he walks back, I whiff it. I don't like doing back three too much because it's kind of a big commitment versus somebody who's good like Sonic who are always scouting that shit. So I'm always constantly trying to stay outside of the range and kind of just wait for him to whiff, which is kind of hard because if you whiffing with Joker, you fucking suck because that character's normal go full screen. Trying to inch way in, you know, a lot of respect you'll see in neutral from these players as well. If you'll notice this throughout the set, folks. That down for the case I wonder so if that was a back throw. I don't remember if that was a back throw or a forward throw tech. So yeah, that's something that's so kind of like fortunate for Johnny. A lot of characters, uh, pretty much every character could have punished Joker right there, but Johnny could punish effortlessly because four three goes so far. As you can see, he did jack in the box, anticipating me blocking the string, but because I got hit, this shit whiffed. And since it whiffed, I get a full combo. And did I cross over? Yep, that's exactly why I played Showstopper, so I, I can do shit like this. You see, my back is not too far from the corner. This was my opportunity to get the fuck out. Now he's in the corner. Yeah, this was an input error. I was kind of tight. I tried to throw a force ball and I got short hop too. Yeah, that that couldn't have been. Had to get the nerves out early. All right. I don't think we've seen the camera get off me. All this weekend. Great and I can still rob here. Look at me. I got fatal blow. I have sunglasses. He has 52% health. If I hit him with one fucking random force ball, the next hit is going to kill him. I just need to hit him with one force ball, which probably wasn't going to happen because I have no defensive bar. As you can see, his meter at the bottom left. He's just sitting there waiting until he can do EX Jack in the blocks because he knows I have no defensive bar. I'm going to get chipped out the moment he gets a bar. This is a critical Look, he's just waiting. Right, now he's going to do EX Jack in the blocks. Oh. 
but the whiff jump in. The turn stealing down. Yeah, pretty much. I had nothing. I had nothing. I couldn't do anything right there. That yeah. down four immediately. As yeah. Fox taking that first and heavy. That down four sweep so good. <laughs> Yeah, he whiffed his entire string. Now I get all this damage unbreakable. Even though now looking back at it, that's not even the optimal combo. 3-4 up 4. I think it's a 3-4 up 3 is the optimal. I don't even know why I was doing that combo. What's the optimal if I don't want them to break? And I was throwing him out the corner because throwing him in the corner is too predictable. He's going to take it. If I want to throw somebody, I want that shit to hit. Offline, it's not even about whether somebody can react to tech or not. It's about them taking the right way. Because offline, pretty much everybody can tech. It's just about you taking the right way. Are you doing it inside my mind? Yeah, I'm basically doing it inside my mind right now for YouTube. Um, when was this? This was March 2021 that we played in Ukraine. He got escape fail, but doesn't really matter with Cage. Oh, no! No, we punished for you for it! And the camera flash amplified. Gonna go into the corner. And I read him rolling. That was a whole read. As you can see, I kind of, I dashed up, backed up. And I, that was clearly a bait. Like, I was baiting him up rolling or up throwing something. Like, go rolled, go. put myself in the perfect position to punish. To the oh, oh, Say he didn't roll, I would have just fucking yeah. ran away or something. Rewind under any circumstances. He's able to bring that today. Whiff punish looks for it again, but not quite. Flawless block. That was so close to whiff punish, in fact. So yeah, that was a that was a completely like it looks maniac, but it was a read because Sonic was waiting for me to give up my turn in any form or fashion, and me giving up my turn was me doing a down one, which he was waiting for, so that he could fucking throw me back in the corner corner and start fucking mopping me so i poked right here and i was like i'm jumping because he's gonna grab boom he grabs full combo now he has to break now he has no defensive bar which means i don't have to worry about him waking up for like the next fucking like 30 minute seconds to a minute so anything i hit him anything i hit him with right now i'm he can't break and with him having no defensive bar and him not being able to break that means i can actually go for my optimals now because i'm not worried about him fucking breaking oh the jump in was gonna be great and i throw him out the corner because as you can see on the left, escape failed. That means he would have teched it if I threw him forward. So that's why I throw him backwards because I don't really care. To, I want the damage. I'm trying to get every damage, a bit of damage I can because I could just side switch if I hit him anyway. This was a, this was a complete like dumbass mistake, but it worked. I thought I had Rising Star because for some reason my dumbass that I equipped it when I'm clearly showstopper. I don't know why. Like I thought I was show, but it hit him. So I take that. We take nice those. All right, gonna get the throw again. The forward throw. The grabs have been absolutely on. FYI, guys, this is the last tournament offline that I have been to, which is we play third place performance. This is the last time I have been offline. Yeah, speaking of grabs. Haven't been offline since since almost 2022. Feels bad. So right here, I made the read. So he did down four on block, which is actually punishable if you don't do jack in the box. So. If he does down four, it's just pretty punishable. I don't even think forward three can punish Jack, uh, down four, but forward four can, but I wanted more damage. So I did forward three just in case he tried to backdash because if he backdashed, he would have got clipped, and that's exactly what happened. Down four, he tries to backdash, clipped him. That was the entire read, and I was right. Great positioning for Sonic Fox, and I side switched, yeah, and I didn't. Actually, right here, I didn't even want to side switch because say he put me in the corner, I would have been fucked. So I, I, uh, decided to just push him further mid screen because say i put him in the corner he has fatal blow he could have fucking robbed me like i put him in the corner all it takes is for him to put me back in and now i'm fucked and he has all these fatal blow mind games and i'm, I'm not for it so i decided to push him back mid screen and just start firing a bunch of fireballs at him and just in hopes of him just getting hit by a couple I don't want you to break. Mm. and I, um, I literally that was an overcommitment me going in right here was such an overcommitment the only reason i did it was because I thought with him having no health and me having a lot, he has to go in. He has no choice but to go in. He can't settle for fucking trades. So I was like trying to read him going in. So I 4 3 fucking whiffed the entire shit. Damn near probably almost lost because of this shit. I don't want you to break. Mm. Crushing blow. Okay, great use of uh, defensive meter there from Rewind. This is a really scary moment. Yeah, see, this is not good. N now he, if he grabs me, I'm dead. Like, if he literally grabs me, I'm dead. And that was, that was me getting shimmy. I tried to take that shit with, with two. Got down two and it worked. Fuck it, we take those. And I actually right here tried to do 4-3 cancel, but it hit his ass, so. I was going to do 4-3 cancel into shimmy. 
So in my head, what I'm thinking is right here. He was like, I have a bar, uh, two bars of defensive bar and a bar meter. That means he thinks that in his head, he's probably like, I'm going to just wake up buttons because he's scared of me either rolling or up three. And I wasn't scared. So I went for the media and went for the safest media I could have did, which was like four, three cancel and it ended up hitting him. So he was wrong. He made a read. He was wrong. That was gonna right fine. So there was a grab. Boom down two. How plus is four three cancel? I don't even know. I more so do those kind of cancels for the pure sake of somebody just getting caught off guard. I know four four is hella plus, one two is hella plus, two four four probably hella plus, but I did four three because who the fuck expects somebody to do four three cancel, you know? They're usually expecting them to do the whole string. Yeah, rewind so far. Really on point with a lot of these reads. Starting off strong, this projectile game. Johnny Cage, the regular force balls. No slouch by any means. Ooh, See, that was scary. I did 4-3 just to get in. If I would have... The only reason I just did 4-3 and didn't commit was because if that fucking 4-3 didn't hit, I would have whiffed the entire string and died. So, there's little moments like this in neutral where you're like, damn, I kind of want to throw out a string because if, if I commit, I'll get a full combo. But if I'm wrong, then I die. So, I did 4-3. But... Hitting him with the four through here is a good situation because I get the hit advantage. That means right here I could either go for a grab, a shimmy, or just like they basically those are the only two things you could do right there is a shimmy or fucking grab. By any means. Ooh, didn't quite take so right I went there. for the shimmy or just a check. Two four four wasn't even really a shimmy right there. If I would have did it again, I would have fucking got him another combo. So far, and I'm really liking it. By the time you can break, you've taken over twenty percent damage. The camera has been such a useful tool in this matchup. The duck. <clears throat> yeah, great duck there from Sonic Fox. So the whole yeah, thing in my head right here. So, oh yeah, another thing right here. If the box from Joker hits yeah, like this, like, see how it hits me instantly? Sonic. Boom! It hits me. You can act as Johnny. You can actually punish that with Shadow Kick, which now I did. I don't get much damage, yeah, but I get something. With the kick. That should be another confirmed kapow. Pow. The big thing to beat Sonic just is to play a hundred percent all the time. And I don't mean rushing him down. I mean playing with your brain from start to finish because the moment you start getting up which i did the moment you start getting lead in the set or the health he's always going 100 so the moment you start to slack off because you, you feel like you got him you're gonna get came back on so that's my you can't be too up on sonic because the fool doesn't give up he doesn't so that's a lot of people's downfalls people, sonic be down and out in a lot of sets he'd be so close to losing and people be like oh, i got this huge health lead they get came back on so all the way across the screen. Ooh. It's funny you should mention it. How much of a shimmy is 244? It's not a shimmy, especially not offline. 1 2 1 isn't even a shimmy, and that's a better shimmy than. Okay, Sonic got shimmied right here by 1 2 1. Because the first hit whiffs, for some reason, because the first hit whiffs, you don't have to deal with the block stun. The block stun kind of saves people from getting shimmied, but since the first hit whiffs, he got shimmied. It's hard to explain. You notice if things. I don't know if you guys noticed when you do an attack on block versus on whiff or on hit it's almost like you have more it feels like you have more frames to avoid getting shimmied eh, it's hard to explain I'm probably not smart enough to explain that shit but I know what I'm talking about a catch it and mustard as well if I go probably be able to explain that better yo putting mix thank you so much for the Dragged. Thanks so much for the reset, bro. The five months. It has been working well so far for rewind. That deceiving yeah. just back up and go straight in for that advancing button. So yeah, Sonic is just constantly sitting here, either waiting for me to whiff or waiting for me to commit. And I'm basically doing the same. I'm throwing, I'm throwing projectiles from a safe range because if I throw it, say I was like a whole dash closer to him right here. If I throw a projectile, I'm gonna get full combo punished. So, are you talking about the block OS? Yeah, so if the first hit whiffs, you can't really block OS and tech, and you can't, like, if you notice offline sometimes, you have, like, this little spill window where you can, like, attempt to tech while still not getting shimmied, but when the first hit whiffs off of somebody trying to shimmy you, you don't get shimmied. I mean, you do get shimmied. It's fucking hard to explain, bro. Oh, my God. Standing really close. Ow. The down one. Yeah, okay. down one. That hurt. His, his once his turn back. Right. Another full combo just in case you try and break though. Okay. So this is a very bad situation. So at this point I pretty much have accepted I probably lost this round. Like there's no point. Very close to chip territory here. And 
they clutch it out right there. Low poke, back forward for such a good Would it be worth it to go for the regular combo since he uses defensive bar to break? I don't think so because Joker doesn't need defensive bar to do anything. Like Joker's so goddamn good that him being able to break is just a plus. Like so I'm I might as well just vouch to get the the full combo. I'd rather take the full damage than it's like there's two things. There's two sides of a combo. You have should I take the full combo damage to the unbreakable or should I force him to break so now he can't wake up? Versus there's some scenarios where I would vouch for the person to break. And then there's some scenarios where I'm like, I'd rather get my damage because this character's too broke. If, I don't know if I'll ever touch him again. You know? Joker's too good for me to not, you know, especially Sonic. He's too good. You, the hits you get, you got to make them count because you may not hit him again. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Straight away. Good time to break. That would have been even way more damage, especially with the pal. This is the moment Joker gets I think he takes forward right there, actually. Mm. Look at that bullshit, dude. What combo off of that? I actually clipped him. I got lucky. He got shimmied. He got shimmied again. So he read me grabbing him like three times, and I just made an entire comeback off of it. And he still woke up buns. This guy's a maniac. Trying to hold on to the cancel for when it's going to be the absolute round winner. <laughs> so yeah, that, that was so maniac. So right here, he literally expected me to grab like three straight times because he figured in his head, he's like, if if he fucking commits to a string, then it's my turn and it's basically over. So I was like, fuck it. I'm just going to shimmy him three times. Rewind seizes the opportunity and gets that shimmy. He read a grab. Shimmied, so I feel like he low-key wouldn't have got shimmied right here if I didn't do that stand one. But since I stuck out that first stand one, right here, boom. Wait, not that one. Right here, boom. He was like, okay, there's no way he doesn't grab right here. And I still didn't grab him, so. And I just made a huge read right here. I down, was it? I did. I did down forward, jumped. I just fucking held up. I was like, worst case scenario, he whiffs his string. He did. He reacted late. So, at this point, I'm up 2-0. I really did get complacent. I was just like, bro, I'm so up. This full Sonic is not as difficult. His Joker isn't as difficult to beat as I thought it would be. So I was like, ah, I don't really care. I could just... And even then, it still wasn't that difficult. The only thing that makes beating Sonic's Joker difficult is his character beats a lot of my characters, like, or gives them a very hard time. So it damn near feels like we're not playing on even playing field. And not many characters straight up counterpick Joker. So, and I don't, if they do, I don't play those characters. But, um, yeah, I was like, worst case scenario, I lose this game, I'll beat him the next. If I lose that one, well, fuck. Now we're, you know, now I really gotta win. Because in this game, I was so up, I was like, I'm just gonna start making hard reads because, like, right there, that was a hard read. If I just kept it solid the entire time, if I just kept it solid the entire time, I probably would have won that game. I probably would have 3 0 even like I think forward one four into fatal blows like fifty percent damage to Joker. It's insanely high, but now rewind. He's been an absolute master of fighting his way out. Shadow kick. Yep. No damage. Yeah. Counterpick Joker. Uh, I think Sub Zero counterpicks him. That force ball, just an extension of the footy game. Because he gets big punishes on Jack in the Box. At this point, rewind. Not going to be heartbroken to take it. He's got so much life left. Forward grab. All right, respecting, respecting each other a lot right now. Rewind, just try to find. Ooh, that, that was sweaty. Hold on, let me go back. Let me just. Respecting, respecting guess. each other a lot right now. Rewind, just try to find that opening. Oh, oh almost on that. I mean, he gets the up three. I That's know. A great start. Bro, Ooh, I tried to down two him, down two. but I got stand two. Another escape failed. Rewind. That was tight. Ooh, that was ridiculous. Great whiff punish two in the amplify. So right here, I vouched to make him break, and he still didn't break. The clean knockdown, a jump in that wasn't challenged. Fox goes in for a grab. Ooh, jump that... kick. One thing I noticed I didn't do enough versus Sonic in the set was one two four. I should have did one two four, but I kept wanting to do one two one because if it hit, I wanted to get like a full combo. Yeah, like right there, I should did one two four. I wasn't doing no one two fours, and he micro dug me. 
Would you use sub offline? Eh, it feels like a hard counter pick for a matchup that I struggled with. See, like I should have did one, two, four. And hang on a minute, eight seconds on the clock. I don't even know if Fox has enough time to win this round. Rewind is going to play it safe. There's no reason. If you get grabbed now, who cares? And and push out. <laughs> the I did it that. I did that strictly because I wanted to get out the corner just a little bit further. I knew how much time was on the clock, so I just did it. If you get grabbed now, who cares? And and push out. <laughs> <laughs> was it the timer? It was done yeah, to try okay. and make sure that he I gets out the say, corner. I was gonna say the shadow kick. He was in. Um, he was in a good position there to use that shadow kick against Sonic Fox, and uh, yeah, they were in chip territory. So. And rewind on match. I kept banging exactly, Nico. I kept banging on him getting shimmied, but I should have just did one two four because one two four does good damage regardless if they get shimmied. You don't get a full combo, but it does a lot. And one two one, and it has pushback. One two four has pushback, so I should have did it more. One two one leaves me right in their face if they don't get shimmied, so I fucked up there. First round of the top eight, however, yeah, exactly. Back, back home in the corner. Probably other places and this was speak. bullshit. Look at this. First round of the top eight, however, back to the wall against Joker. Probably other places you'd rather be. Oh, no. It's not like Sonic right Looking that. For some yeah. kind of punish, expecting uh, I should just dinger four now. Situation. It was late. Yeah, full combo punish on that up three. Yeah, this was oh, a bad round. Like back it up. One-sided opportunity for Fox to get. Oh, goes the for the up three again. Yep. I mean, bad game. game. Yeah, that makes some situation countless reverse sweeps in the past. No Just got put in the corner, couldn't get out. Rewind knows that better than all because I got like one grab micro duct. This set was far from over. Yeah, this set definitely is far from over. You can't count on one Sonic finds one good ass character, like broke ass character. That okay, I use the word broke in this game too loosely, and so does everybody else. We've seen way more broke characters, but one Sonic finds a very powerful character. And it's comfortable with him, like he actually vibes with him. It's very dangerous and it's kind of annoying. He tends to find characters that are very hard to counter pick too. Fox gonna take the opening, amplify the kapow, and that damage is just so heavy. So this game I was like, man, I'm about to just rush it down because I'm impatient. I just want to win. You can break players right now. The raw jumped in switch. You can break and you've lost 25 percent it's, oh, like it's such a like three. insane mind game because you go for that whole combo it's pointless to break at the end you may as well concede nope. the now i'm in the corner and keep your defensive bar absolute facts right. throwing fireballs all day the challenge it's probably didn't get fucking micro ducks grabs have been working great it's definitely been a very strong part of the lead that rewind has so far those and those jump ins this time Sonic Fox getting the forward throw. Yeah, Alien was legit broken and then Sonic playing Alien was broken. That shit was stupid. Yeah, just as I say that he So right there I wanted him to break. Because I was like, I'm gonna get twenty two percent by the time he breaks anyway, but I look you should have went for a break anyway. Then I got down to I didn't even try to grab him, he just mashed it. Oh my god. Looking to just go for the instinctive Bro, what kind of robbery was that, dude? I got so robbed. Dude, I got robbed right here. Look at this. Like, he didn't even duck. It just whiffed. He's gonna survive this. Goodness. That, that was like literally. What? I forgot I did that. I forgot I did that. I forgot I did that. I was like, bro, fuck it. I lost, dude. And I fucking did that. He got an input error. He tried to do down four. He tried to do down four. Look, he at stand four. He tried to do down four. What? You look at Sonic. He's not happy about it. <laughs> See, Sonic isn't Sonic isn't perfect, man. He got a whole input area that cost him. And at this point, I was like, Yo, I could actually win this. I just robbed this man. I just actually robbed this man. And then I got too fucking antsy once again. Right there, should it? Oh, that could have almost been a cross up jump in there. But we're gonna get the throw instead. Uh oh, these projectiles, especially when you've lost about half your life, every single one hurts. The pushback, rewind. Trying to be careful, does not want to overextend the back-to-back -back poke this time. And confirm now I have no play. defensive bar. Now I'm just like, wow, this is fucked. Oh yeah, well we've seen these two draw around out. Bro, you see, do you see these normals, guys? This is why playing neutral with fucking Joker is so fucking hard. Doesn't even almost doesn't even matter the player behind it. Like look at these normals. Yeah, like, well, we, I can't whiff punish that. That's too far. And if he does the whole string, I have to guess if he's gonna fucking just do the first hit or whiff the whole string. Seen these two draw around out all the way to the end 
so far. 34% incoming, I think. Mm-hmm. Oof. Yeah, no breakaway here. Gonna have to hold that. One one bar defensive meter's coming back, though. Gotta watch out for that joker. Forward two. Is it hard to throw Loom Joker? It is hard because you want to. You don't want to put him full screen because the motherfucker's broke from full screen. Yeah, that was a good read by him. I had I couldn't really do anything. Yeah. Yeah, Sonic definitely was like, I almost threw that shit. So, yeah, now it's 2 2. I was just up 2 0. Made some bad reads, some bad decisions. I started playing way different than I was when I was up 2 0. That was the whole reason why this wasn't closed out. I thought Joker sucks full screen. No, he has Jack in the box. He throws that shit in and goes in. And versus Johnny, Johnny isn't even that good full screen. Yeah, he has projectiles that he could chuck at you, but they're high. So Joker, all he has to do is fucking neutral duck him and go in. Throw huh. out something to catch a whiff punish. Well, at least is it best to just do 4-3 by itself? Be, yeah, I typically only throw 4-3 by itself unless I fucking know that 4-3 is not whiffing. I kind of do, I kind of throw out 4-3 how Sonic throws out 4-2. Sometimes he just throws out 4-2 by itself and doesn't commit. It's kind of the thing, same thing I do with Johnny. One of the best advancing highs in the game and he gets a full combo if he has Kapow and the How is Joker variation? strong full screen? I didn't say he was strong. He was not like top five full screen. But what I'm saying is he has enough of a presence from full screen where he's not like he's not fucking useless full screen. You throw one jack in the box, he has from full screen, you dash he dashes in three times and he's in your fucking face. So you can't really zone out Joker. All he has to do is throw a jack in the box EX and go in. Not as punishing as anything else, so I don't think Rewind's going to be too hard. Joker just that. has to dash one time, and he's damn near in your face. Anti-air. Anti Definitely getting a little bit of the pressure here that Joker does really What's well. What's up, Sosa? But the fireball, amplify it. Just getting that little damage chipped away. We're yeah, look, like, this is annoying. Grounds here, but... It's really right now at this point whoever gets the next. Ooh, see, I was too scared to commit to punish right there. Did you try master yet? Nah, I've been doing this breakdown of me versus we play. See, I choked so hard right here, Chad. I already know what's gonna happen. This fool saw the clock, he started running away. And guess what? I actually hit him and didn't commit because I didn't think he'd get hit. All that he's trying to time me out, his dumbass actually got hit. Fox just backing up. Rewind can't close in the distance. And this is it. There's nothing he can do. He can't. I was so. Bro, that was game. Use Fox just backing up. Rewind can't close in the distance. And this is it. There's nothing he can do. I did not think his dumbass will get hit right there. And I threw him out the quarter. No, he just didn't have time. I was so tight. I had his ass, dude. His dumbass got hit. Yo, even saw it. Like, yo, I can't believe I got hit. He probably didn't think I was going to dash in like 13 times. Yo, Dark, thank you so much for the tier one, bro. Appreciate you, fam. An even better start to this first match of the night. Enjoy the memos, bro. Welcome to the team, bro. Appreciate you joining the team. Yeah, and I'm not out of it, but man, that was, I could have been up, I could have been the one up around right here, you know what I'm saying? That's a big deal, having a round, especially having a round and the other person doesn't, means you kind of have a little wiggle room. So now I have like no wiggle room. Yeah, Shrizzy, appreciate the fall. Ooh, he got hit. And being offline, I could actually hit from that shit. Yeah, this is so bad right here. Like, yeah, this is so bad. I do like the use of the defensive meter, but this is going to be a bad position for Rewind to be Oof. going to have to really do Yeah, I was just like, bro, I was not trying to get thrown. No, this is a really bad. I have no bar. Yeah, I could do anything. From right here, when he throws the jack in the box from this distance, he's plus. Like, he can dash in after the jack in the box and do anything. Like, right here, I'm stuck. I couldn't do anything. I had to block that out for. That was me getting chipped out. This man popped off, bro. He pops off on me every time. <laughs> that was ridiculous. That was absolutely this fool ridiculous. doesn't pop off on anybody unless he wants a tournament. This fool pops off on me every time. Probably because I make his ass work for it every time. I've like never gotten mopped by a uh, Sonic. It's always like 3 2, pretty much. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that was me versus Sonic. That was a breakdown. People have been asked for that for like almost a year now. That was back, what, March 28th, 27th, something like that. And it's fucking. What is it? Fucking October? Yeah. People have been asking that for that for a while, so I had to give it to y'all live.